Hey, Steve Minotti here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with a very interesting car. It's a 1972 Chevy Malibu Heavy Chevy. Now, if you don't know what this is, well, here's the thing. By the late, late 70s or early 70s, 71, 72, the insurance industry was starting to crack down on muscle cars. So with that said, what they did is came up with packages like this. This is the uh, YF3 Heavy Chevy option, only available with a V8 Malibu. You couldn't get a six-cylinder with a Heavy Chevy. And that's a good thing because that would have liquidated or you know watered down the, the mode of the car and the graphics on these were pretty cool and uh, this is factory stuff it's been resprayed and re-striped re but it's very cool kind of has the same feeling as a pontiac gto judge in, in terms of these horizontal stripes so gm was sort of uh, you know borrowing from its own inventory for this sort of a car now here's the thing it's not a super sport you won't see ss here which is something you would see on an ss 396 or an ss 454 no ss and again the word super sport was a red flag to insurance agents who if you were 20 years old trying to buy a muscle car, you didn't get a muscle car. You get something like this, a pretender to the, to the throne, if you will, around the front of these cars. What these don't have, again, is a super sport emblem right here in the middle, which is something you would find on a Chevelle SS. And of course, the heavy Chevy logos broaden in your face. And the hood pins, yep, part of the YF3 heavy Chevy package. And of course, the hood looks like a, you know, a cowl induction piece, but here's the thing. You get half the effect. There's a power dome, for sure, steel. But there's no flapper here, which is something you would have with the ZL2 cowl induction hood on a SS454 LS6 or something like that. So this is an appearance package on the uh, basic uh, V8 uh, Chevelle. You could get these with a 307, 350, even a 402. The big block was possible in these things. A few years ago at Barrett-Jackson, one of these things sold with a 402 and a three-speed manual. Now, why, with, why a three-speed? Well, the four-speed was another thing that insurance agents hated to see because they figured young people would go out there, rip gears, and cause accidents. So that was a three-speed manual in that 1972 Heavy Chevy 403 three-speed manual. Weird combination. It was an original paint car. Now, this is a nice one. It's a four-speed, and that's a cool thing. And it's a bench seat car. And they didn't all have the Astro ventilation or Astro bucket seats. Here's the bench. So kind of cool. Vinyl carpeting right there. It's not even car, it's vinyl floor. That's the original stuff right there. Very cool. Less can be more. And uh, good looking car. Has the sport steering wheel, also shared with the Vega and Corvette at various points in time, but a good looking interior. And the four speed manual transmission, that's going to be a Muncie four speed. And uh, the speedometer goes up to 120 miles an hour. So again, this is sold to somebody who wanted the appearance and looks of a muscle car without the insurance surcharge. Around the back, you see here that the rear bumper on these, which was new for 1972, would have, uh, there's no uh, super sport here. There's a bumper, a rubber thing right there. So there's none of that on the heavy Chevy, as uh, the heavy Chevy was meant to distance itself from the super sport and the insurance surcharges that that SS could trigger. Beautiful car, though, really. Uh, no vinyl top on this one, very sanitary. And this one has the 12 bolt rear axle. That's a good thing. 12 bolt rear end in this one. And uh, standard disc brakes on these things, up front power disc brakes were standard equipment. No drums on the heavy Chevy or the Super Sport in 1972. And these were only built in 1971 and 2. And uh, by 73, with the redesign, the heavy Chevy was put to bed. The wheels on this are a little bit of an add on. These are the uh, 1976 Corvette style wheels. They bolt right on, they look good. But again, this would have had sort of a slotted steel wheel with uh, a little baby cap or a little center cap, a hub. And uh, that would have been the austere standard wheel on these things. And uh, again, great looking car, nice restoration. And I see something here inside. It's an eight track. Let's take a peek. Is it uh, Deep Purple, Highway Star, or what? Is it cool, is it not cool? Oh, okay. Okay, Anne Murray. <laughs> Anne Murray, she's 85 years old, I believe, today in uh, 2024. Still alive, she's a Canadian folk singer, rock and roll singer, and it's not the Doors. Uh, let's keep it that way. <laughs>